Where did, I don't know where we've got to. Where did we finish? We've done the rears. Done the rears. We had to go and get another trip out to get some tools and some parts. Yeah. And then we have taken off that one. Yeah. And then if you'd like to pick up the coilover that we have now assembled and ready to go. Reassembled said coilover. I don't know how to pronounce them. Vogland? Vogland? Vog... Vogataland. Yeah. Pick these ones. Um, never had coilovers before. Don't know a lot about them, evidently. Unbox them. <laughs> We're at this stage, I don't know what you want to know. I want you to know why you put those ones. Because Demon Twig suggested them to me. I have made a tool because I don't have a through socket. So what I have is a, a vice grip with a 7mm Allen key. Ah, the coilovers are a different size Allen key. So I no longer need to grip a 7mm. But effectively, what I was doing was taking a, this is a 21mm spark plug socket, pop that through there, that then holds the Allen key in place, then you can use that to then tighten up what you need to, and I don't have a 21mm spanner or whatever size spanner that is, so I've just been using an adjustable. It's a bit rudimentary, but it works, it gets the job done, and that's all we care about right now, isn't it, GJ? Get this done. So let's find Essentially, I was banned from doing that because he kept saying that it was really dangerous and he didn't want me to get hurt. So it's, just, it's just springs, they just they just have a lot of energy. People don't realise how much energy a spring carries, especially... How much this weigh? This weighs like a ton, right? This weighs almost a thousand kilos. And you've got a spring which is now compressing against that and it's holding all this energy in it. And if you just undid the top one, it's going to piece up. Look, let me show you this. Just Look, I'm just going to drop it from like here. It just bounces. And it's under no tension at all. It's just bouncing under its own weight. It's ridiculous. They have so much energy when they're compressed, you've got to be really careful because you could die. And I need TJ not to die. <laughs> Is that it? Almost, come up. There she blows. Okay, so do I do that up there? I would do that up there. Where are my tools? Was there more than one that went past? There was one, but he might have been joined by others. Sounds like it. So you've got... Where's my spanner? Try in the boot. That's <laughs> okay, that's quite tight now, I think. Okay. But no, I know it is. <laughs> cool. Well, I mean, if it, if, it, if it falls off, it's your car, so... We need to do the top now. <laughs> How do we do this? With your bolt method? Uh, oh yeah, my bolt method, yeah. yeah. Hold that. We make, we make the bolt. It's, yeah, real it's also really good to just throw your tools around on the grass and then lose them. <laughs> we could do a few. What's nice is a nylock nut. Oh. So it does that thing, right? It's also bigger than my actual... I hate this day. Okay, we won't be putting the nylock nut on initially. Why? We... I can't do it up. Oh. I'd love to. I love a nylock nut. It's a lovely bit of engineering. But we're going to have to go with a plain old one. Because otherwise I can't do it up. So what you're saying is we need another tool. <laughs> That's why I'm not going to get another tool. <sighs> Don't be like, this is not my fault. Okay, the nuts doing a fraction. <laughs> One hour later. We can't drive that. Oh my God. What were you thinking? Have we done that right? Well, that's what happens. Lower, isn't it? That's what happens when you is slam it on its absolute butt. Is that correct? What do you mean? Is that correct? Is the car level? No. Maybe. <laughs> Looks good. What you've done is just put it on its maximum lower setting. That's what. Yes, that was the idea.
I'm sorry, mate. That's absolutely ridiculous. The front's lower, though, isn't it? Yeah. So how do you make the back lower? Well, you'd, you'd raise the front, I guess. I want it to look like that. Also, there's a heavy engine in there, whereas yeah, there's is. nothing in the back. We will Coilovers are fitted. Um, we went for a little drive. The fronts are gonna. Ha we're gonna have to raise the fronts up. We've lost another mud flap, so we're two mud flaps down now. Um, but while we ponder our thoughts about what we're gonna do with the coilovers, um, we're gonna fit a back box to this. I, d I have no idea. I got this back box from a friend. I don't really know anything about it. I don't know if it's loud. I don't know if it's pointless doing it, but we're going to do it. So that is the plan. Back box, then we'll put the car down, sort the coilovers out the front and be done for the weekend, I suppose. Cause, oh, and, and put the lights back in. I took them back out to fit some bulbs from the other sets. So that, that is the plan. Road test. <laughs> I'm nervous. It feels like a completely different car. I cannot believe it. I don't believe it. The steering's so much lighter. Could the, I, well, I mean, it obviously did make that difference. I can't believe it. I'll be honest, it's a lot harder to hold the camera steady now. Though. Oh my God. Although, it's not that bad. No. We should go down the just country a, I'm just a bad I think, I think, Demon Tweets' recommendation for the Vogtlerkland, <laughs> yeah. the Vogtland, yeah. German suspension. Like, I didn't doubt them, yeah. but I'd never heard of them. And you're always a bit wary when you've not heard of something before. Yeah. And, mate, that's so nice. They are really nice. And this is the car as it sits a week after fitting the coilovers. In terms of ride height, I think it's going to take a little bit more tweaking to get it exactly how I want it. Sometimes we're scraping, sometimes we're not, and also the front does sit a little bit lower than the rears, but overall, I couldn't be happier with this coilover choice, and I'm so pleased we did it, and I just can't believe I actually fitted this. <laughs>